Still need to find how many more onions? Pink, purple, white. Is that it? Is there another type of Pikmin? Okay. He just sneezed up a puzzle piece. Alrighty then. Uh, yes, please. So we're going to need fire to get that hay over there cleared. I have two more puzzle pieces to find. I need hay to clear that one over there too. Let me move my mouse. Uh, can I slip through here? Yes, I can. Alright, uh, this will be easier to do if I don't have... Uh, I don't have a, anything uh, like other than reds. So we'll take just the reds with me to take this boy out. Easy enough. I need... Ah! Wait for that. Alright. Give me the fire. We got a few things to burn. Starting with that. And then that. All of you guys can rejoin the party here. Burn that down. And then we need this one over here. That looks like the exit. Destroyed him. Clearing everything up here. There's another purple flower over there. I just need a uh, another fire guy to get to it. All right, so we go this way. Alright, 
I gotta throw you. Come on, before before it burns out. There we go. Easy peasy. That should be everything on the first floor here. And yeah, my camera's not frozen. I gotta keep an eye on that now. Not only do I have to micromanage 101 living creatures here, not counting myself, I gotta micromanage the camera too. Pain in the butt. Only three floors though. For something named the Cradle of the Beast, I kind of expected it to be a deeper cave. Okay, over there is a tunnel that only Ochi can go through, so let's, let's do it. Let's see what Ochi has uh, got on his side before we go off without him. Ah. Easy. Okay. Oh, she just got pancaked. Let's get everybody on here, please. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> oh, she just got pancaked again. Let's all get on Ochi and get everything under control again. No, I just lost the purple. Do you know how few of those I have? why it wasn't letting me throw anything on it is because there was already a Pikmin heading towards it. Well, here's more purples, although there's a... there are boulders in the way. That is a whole ham! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thing I got purples. Oh, I need a, I need like all of my purples to carry that. Bad, 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 bad. I am lucky that those guys do not die and they instead just get pancaked. Okay, there we go. Boom. 
bunk toe with a raid. How's it going, my guy? How are things? Thank you so much for stopping by. As you can see, I am Pikmining. Woo! Yeah. I'm having a great time. Uh, I guess I, I'm not going to bother getting Ochi around this way. He'll live. What is up? Not a whole lot. I'm trying to clear out the dungeon best I can. Uh, I think after I finish this dungeon, I'll be done with this area, and then I'm heading into what is, I'm told, one of the hardest parts of the game. Which is very exciting, you know. We, lo we love being miserable <laughs> in my Pikmin experience. A 30 second recap of all of the Pikmin lore up to this point. Uh, sure. So, there's... Because you have no idea. Alright, uh, there's a planet called, that has no name, yeah, but it's probably Earth. Uh, and this little tiny spaceman named Olimar crashes into this planet in every single game for some reason. And there's these little flower guys here that he can uh, control around and they help him. In the first game, it was collect the parts of his ship in order to get off the planet. In the second game, it was to collect money for his company to get all out of debt. And now in the fourth game, he has once again managed to get himself captured. And now there's somebody on the planet that is uh, turning everybody into leaf people. That's a mystery we're still working on solving. So I'm, I'm running around trying to rescue all the people who are being turned into leaves. And that's about it. <laughs> There's my 30 second recap. I, I, didn't, I didn't have a timer though, so I don't know how good that was. You'd love to be a leaf person? I actually can. I, there's a person who, uh, in my camp, that will change my appearance to become a leaf person. Maybe that makes you the weird one. <laughs> Everybody is is weird in this game, to be fair. But you know, I had this this beautiful face here, and I, I didn't want to give that up. Not, that's a face that even my mother loves. <laughs> But yeah, that's about the, the short of it. Yeah, so the first game came out, uh, I think it was like 2001 on the GameCube. So the franchise is 23 years old. <laughs> and I feel old because I played it when I was little, so. Uh, there, there, there we go. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> But yeah, no, the, the first two games were on the GameCube, and then Pikmin 3 was on the Wii U. And then it took them, like, ten years between Pikmin 3 and Pikmin 4. Nostalgia. Oh yeah, no. I've, I've, Pikmin has always been a game that I have a soft spot for. Screw the Wii U. <laughs> Everybody hated it. I, I was late to the game. I'm always late to the game, the party on games. I'm, I'm like, perpetually a decade behind on... <laughs> on games uh i am only playing pikmin because uh my girlfriend knows how much i love pikmin and she bought it for me for uh christmas so even though i got it on christmas it is now august and i'm only now getting around to playing it <laughs> yeah no like i'm i'm perpetually like a decade behind on games i think i played um before this one i played horizon zero dawn and I think that game is, um, that's gotta be, that's gotta be under 10 years. Has to be under 10 years. There's no way Horizon Zero Dawn's older than 10 years. How old is Horizon Zero Dawn? Horizon Zero Dawn, 2017. Okay, that one's seven, seven years. <laughs> Yeah, and that's and that's one of the newer games that I've gotten around to playing. So, yeah, no, I've I've been uh, I've been enjoying this one, and I've I have decided the game I'm playing after I do finish Pikmin. Uh, I haven't I haven't revealed it yet, but it is it is another moderately older game from the like mid two thousands. Like mid 2010s, I'd say. 
Those guys just melted, and the way they melted into the nectar there, they just looked like an egg. I also, like, I miss having physical copies, but I'm, I'm realizing how, like, finicky some of the, uh, the hardware can end up being, like, over time. Like, my PS2, I've already had to, like, replace, which is, is bad. Ah! Meet Empress Ballblex. <laughs> that is, like, the final boss from the second game, who is now just a regular enemy. And so I, I like having digital copies of games just because I feel like I, they, f they feel more permanent to me for now. You just got a PS2 to play Silent Hill. I've played the, only the first Silent Hill game. <laughs> now you just need. <laughs> no! Did she just flatten? Okay, she just flattened everything. Can I restart this floor? <laughs> Rewind time, yes. Start of sub level. Wonderful. They added such a nice feature. <laughs> Everybody just got wrecked there. Highly recommend too. I do need to play it. I streamed Silent Hill 1. Uh, it has to be like two years ago now. I feel like I was a little dumb when I was playing through it, though. I spent the first, like, stream of my game not realizing that once I killed something, I could just, um... Or once I knocked something down, that I could, even if I was holding a gun, walk up and, like, stomp it to kill it. And so I kept switch- like, pausing and switching to a melee weapon to not waste my bullets. <laughs> you got softlocked in one? That sucks. But yeah, no, my- my whole, like shtick as a as a video game player and as a streamer is I want to experience as many different games as I possibly can uh, including like all the classics all right I need ball blacks to not not uh, flatten my my Pikmin basically Alright, we're gonna try and slip around to the front. Like, if you do the, like, exclamation point, uh, games beaten command, it'll take you to a spreadsheet where you can see all the games that I've, that I've played. Alright. Yeah, that's got everything in it. Look, do you like how she's just flattening her own children here? This is under much better control than the last time. I'm not quite a completionist. Like, I, I usually don't play through a game until I get, like, 100% achievements. It's more just for... Like, usually if I see the credits, I'm like, okay, we're good. We're good. Because sometimes games will have some ridiculous expectations for getting a uh, 100%. There we go. Look at all those rubber duckies. Yeah, no, I, I, I try to finish as many different games as I can. And I've, I've found there's a lot of really cool games out there, games that I wouldn't necessarily have expected to enjoy as much as I do. Appreciate the Raiden for stopping by, though, man. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner, my guy. There's still a castaway to find on this floor. Does that mean he's he's probably buried here? Look at all those rubber duckies. Hello? 
Horatio, a proud member of the gig economy. He likes to think he spreads cheer wherever he goes, but he usually does the opposite. What a what a description. What an odd thing to read on an ID badge. He seems like a rather eccentric sort. Nice. And, and that I just got the notification there that this area is 100% cleared. Hey, bub. I don't know why you're why you're just staring. There you go. How's it going, boy? Even though that's probably all the treasure of the day, I'll still wait until the actual end of day report to read it. So I lost five rocks and a single purple. Fair enough. I think I'm at like 775, 776 in that ballpark right now. I have no idea, like, I have no end goal on the number of games I want to beat. I'm just going to keep going. A, a thousand will be cool. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to getting to a thousand. Okay, explored 100% of area. I guess we're out of here. <laughs> speaks truth. Okay. So now that the, now that the giant's hearth has been cleared, we're going to head to Olimar and deal with his stuff. Because I've heard that it is hard, and I've heard that it is uh, entertaining to some to some extent. I guess it's the definition of what's entertaining to people. Oh, York, thank goodness you're all right. Dobbs, you're safe. I am. Nell, on the other hand, I know you're still getting your bearings, but do you have any idea where she might be? <gasps> I'm sorry, but no, I lost sight of her early on. I guess I'm a pretty slow runner. Then you really were the last person to see her, Dobbs. Can you remember anything else? Which direction she and the dog ran? Uh, let me try to put myself back in that spot. Hmm. Oh, I remember something. The giant dog carried her deeper into the forest, way past where I'd fallen down. Hmm. I don't believe our radar can effectively reach that area. Well, the SS Shepherd's radar signal has already been boosted close to its limit. I'm not sure we'll be able to extend its reach any further. Well, would you mind if I took a look at it? I'm pretty good with machines. Well, first we do a little of this, and then a little of that. All done. We're good to go. Well, that was amazing to witness. Let's inject the sparklium and see what happens. Ma'am, I feel like that would be more effective if we saw any kind of a visual, like, change in the ship. Further upgraded the radar. So I'm going to remove the limiter and start up the radar again. Let's see what that does. Well, let's see. Well, that did it. I can't believe there are so many SOS signals coming from that unexplored area. The scientific prowess on Kapai seems to be remarkably close to my own. I won't underestimate them from now on. One of those signals could be coming from Nell. Saving her is our first priority. Got four new people. I have no cure, though. I guess I do have to do the, the night missions there.
Nice. All right, tomorrow let's explore a new area. Well done. Ah, oh, I didn't read the treasure. I, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a failure. 